Welcome back everybody to another video tutorial brought to you by graphicdesignertips.com. My name is Steve Looney and in today's Adobe Muse tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to very simply set up anchor links on your web pages. Basically what an anchor link is, is you are linking something, text or an image to another part of your site where an anchor is going to be placed. Now, the best way I could describe that is by actually showing it to you. So I can show you what I did on two of my client websites. And we've all seen this before on a frequently asked questions page. You know, there'll be right like for instance on this page is 14 questions. So, you know, we'll go to like question number eight and we'll click it. And all of a sudden you're going to see this nice little JavaScript flow that goes right down the page to where I placed the anchor originally to go to. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go to another website and same thing. If I click on the word projects, we had it so it would flow down and very smoothly go down to the bottom of the home page. So it's, it creates that nice effect, but it's not necessarily, it's more used, I would assume on the same page. So you're going to put anchors on the same page of things that you're clicking on, but you can also anchor to different parts of your website. So if you're uh, talking about a product and there's something in it, a keyword, you can have that keyword linked to another part of the website where that they're going to get their information. So anchor links are really cool. And um, I felt like when I used to use Dreamweaver, they uh, took a little bit longer to do, but in Adobe Muse, everything is much quicker to do. So let's jump into Adobe Muse and I'll show you how to build them. Okay, so now we're in Adobe Muse and we're back at that same FAQ, frequently asked question page on this website. Now, what I want to do is I first want to hit A on my keyboard or come up to the anchor tag. Now it's funny because I, I, I'd like to know if I'm the only one that goes crazy with this, but because I do a lot of stuff in Adobe Illustrator, a for me is my direct selection. So a lot of times when I'm designing this website, because it's so similar to Adobe Illustrator, I'll hit A and I'll start adding anchor tags accidentally because I'm thinking I'm, I'm you know, selecting my direct selection. So let me know in the comments if you do the same thing. I, I literally do it all the time and it's not ever going to stop. So what you want to do is, again, hit A on your keyboard and now it'll come up with the anchor tag. And what you're going to do is, well, what I'm going to do is, you're going to figure out a system. So if I click here, it's basically going to say rename the anchor. So I'm going to name it Q, capital Q, and then the number one. So that's basically question one. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to now do hit A again, and I'm going to do Q2. Again, Q3. And I can move these, which is great. I can line them all up. But I'm going to go four, five, six. So I'm not going to do all of them right now because I want to make this tutorial quick. But there we go. We got Q6 right there. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to scroll back up here and I'm going to come up to question number six. I'm going to highlight the entire question. You can even highlight the number if you like. I'm just going to do the question for now. And what I want to do is I want to come up here into my links area. And as soon as I have this drop down, it's going to come up with all the links that I that I just created, the anchors, excuse me. So we got Q1, Q2, Q3, and remember I skipped four and five just to get to six. And we're gonna click Q6 and it's going to show us with the blue and the underline that it's basically linked right now, which is really cool. So let's preview this by going to file and we're gonna preview this page in a browser to make sure it's working correctly. And now voila, we're just going to click this link right here and boom, it's going to scroll down. And if you notice, it scrolled down, it, if you remember in my, where I put the anchor, I put it right above the queue. So basically it's going to pull up what's right below it is going to pull all the way to the top. So keep that in mind because you can always make, put, if I was to put my anchor higher, the queue, all right, let's see, the question would have started down here. And you may have gotten confused at that point because you might read this one first. So I like to get it very close to what I am uh, anchoring to because I want I want that to show up first. Um, another thing um, I wanted to show you is, uh, well, very simply, 
Uh, when you look on your page, you see all these anchors. Obviously, they don't, they don't publish, but you can always go to view and hide anchors, and those anchors will disappear. I also very simply want to show you how we can do this from one page to another. So basically, I'm just, I, I'm just on a random page right now. I'm, I'm on the About Us page. But if I hover over a word, say I even hover over this word right here, contractor, okay? And we come up into here and we go back and we put that Q6. I don't have to tell you what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna show you anyway. We're gonna go to File, Preview Site and Browser, because if I just preview the page, when it you click the link, it's not gonna go there. All right, and let's click on this. And just as you suspected, it went right to the same exact spot. So anchor tags, they you really can get pretty creative with this on uh, on your website depending on how you have things structured you can uh, really do some fun stuff and I just love it how it it'll pull you down the page with that nice little smooth transition it's it's really cool and uh, when a client sees that you know um, even if they are computer savvy they'll see that on and on their website they're getting oh wow that's really cool how you did that and uh, you know it's it takes two seconds so. I hope I was able to uh, help you guys understand that a little bit. Let me know in the comments uh, what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos on Adobe Muse tutorials. Um, getting back into the Muse tutorials because Muse is, is becoming very popular and I use it every day myself. So I'm building websites every day for my clients. And um, that's it, everybody. My name is Steve from graphicdesignertips.com. I will talk to you and see you in the next episode. Good night. Peace.